Welcome to Sheer Knowledge TV. Ever wondered what happens behind the scenes to get you from the terminal to 30,000 feet? Today, we re-diving into the incredible world of air travel to explore 10 hidden systems that make your flights safe, smooth, and surprisingly efficient. We LL cover everything from how that delicious meal reaches your tray table to how a massive plane moves backward without a reverse gear. It's a journey you won't want to miss. So buckle up and let's take off. First up, let's talk about pushback. Have you ever noticed that planes never seem to reverse out of the gate on their own? That's because they can't. Using their own engines to go backward would create a massive jet blast, throwing debris everywhere and potentially damaging the terminal. Instead, specialized vehicles called pushback tractors or TOGs do the heavy lifting. These powerful machines connect to the plane's nose wheel using a tow bar. With massive torque and incredibly precise steering the tug operator guided by a ground crew member on a headset carefully pushes the aircraft away from the gate until it s in a safe position to start its engines and taxi. Next, how does all that food get on board? It's a race against time, managed by high-tech catering trucks. These trucks are designed to lift their entire cargo bay right up to the height of the aircraft s galley door using a powerful hydraulic platform. All the meals, drinks, and snacks are pre-packed into special trolleys on the ground. Once the truck is in position and securely locked to the aircraft to prevent any movement, the crew simply rolls the trolleys from the temperature control truck directly into the galley, where they are locked in place, ready for service. It's a quick, efficient, and perfectly coordinated operation. Just as important as the passengers and food is the cargo loaded in the belly of the plane. All that luggage and freight is packed into standardized containers called ULDs, which stands for Unit Load Devices. Inside the cargo hold, the floor is covered with a special ball mat system that allows ground crews to easily roll these heavy containers into place. Once a ULD is in its designated spot, a series of locks rise from the floor to secure it, preventing any shifting during the flight. The placement is critical. Distributing weight correctly is essential for the aircraft's balance and stability, so every single piece is mapped out beforehand. Now, what about that tunnel you walk through to get on the plane? That's the jet bridge, and it might look automatic, but it's actually driven by a highly skilled gate agent. Using a joystick and a set of controls, the agent carefully maneuvers the massive structure to align perfectly with the aircraft door. Modern jet bridges are equipped with sensors to prevent them from bumping into the plane and to ensure they stop at a safe distance. Finally, a soft rubber canopy extends to create a weatherproof seal around the doorway, keeping the cabin comfortable while you board. Once you're on board, have you ever wondered how the aircraft door creates such a perfect seal against the immense pressure differences at altitude? Unlike a car door, airplane doors are what's known as plug doors. This means they are slightly larger than the opening. To close, the door moves inward slightly, rotates, and then fits into the frame like a cork in a bottle. As the cabin pressurizes during ascent, the internal air pressure pushes the door firmly against its frame, creating an airtight seal. Multiple heavy-duty latches also lock it in place, and a hydraulic system helps the crew open and close it safely. Speaking of doors, why do flight attendants always have a specific chat with passengers in the exit row? This isn't just a friendly conversation, it's a critical safety requirement mandated by aviation law. The crew must get a clear, verbal confirmation that each person in that row is willing and physically able to operate the emergency exit if needed. Those exit doors can be surprisingly heavy and require confidence to operate in a high-stress situation. So, that, yes, you give is a serious commitment to assisting everyone in an emergency. And now, for a question many are too shy to ask. How do airplane toilets work? Forget everything you know about household plumbing. Airplane toilets don't use a lot of water. Instead, they use a powerful vacuum suction system. When you press the flush button, a valve opens, and the vacuum pulls the waste into a sealed holding tank located in the belly of the aircraft. And no, that waste isn't released mid-flight. That's a complete myth. The tank is safely and hygienically emptied by a ground crew after the plane has landed. Here is another safety feature you might have noticed the cabin lights always dim for takeoff and landing. Why is that? It's a simple but brilliant precaution. Dimming the lights allows your eyes to pre-adjust to the darkness outside. In the rare event of an emergency that requires an evacuation, your vision will already be adapted, 
helping you see the emergency floor lighting and find your way out more quickly. It's all about saving precious seconds when they matter most. Let's look at the wings. During takeoff and landing, you'll see parts of the wing extending backward and forward. These are the flaps and slats. At low speeds, an aircraft's wings don't generate enough lift on their own. By extending the flaps from the trailing edge and the slats from the leading edge, the total surface area and curvature of the wing are increased. This clever design modification generates the extra lift needed to fly safely at slower speeds, making takeoffs and landings much more stable and controlled. Pilots use a lever in the cockpit to adjust them based on the phase of flight. Finally, how do you stay warm and breathe comfortably when at S minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit and there is barely any oxygen outside? The magic lies in the bleed air system. The aircraft's jet engines compress a huge amount of air, and a small fraction of this hot, compressed air is bled off before it enters the combustion chamber. This air is then cooled, filtered, and routed into the cabin. This system not only heats the plane but also pressurizes it, maintaining a comfortable and safe cabin altitude equivalent to about 6,000 to 8,000 feet, so you can breathe normally. From the outside, air travel can seem so simple, but as we've seen, behind the scenes, there are countless hidden systems all working in perfect harmony. From the powerful tug that pushes your plane back, to the pressurization system keeping you comfortable, every single part has a purpose. It's a testament to the incredible engineering that makes modern flight possible. If you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Sheer Knowledge TV, and check out more of our aviation content. Thanks for watching.